Do you want to know how to do cool Hollywood effects like this in iMovie in less than 10 minutes? All right, so before we get into this and I show you how to do it, I just want to show you the effect one more time. It's a really cool effect. And this takes about, you know, less than 10 minutes. I can actually do it in about five minutes if I'm not trying to teach people. Let's go ahead and take a look at the effect one last time here, and then we'll get into it. All right, so we're going to go through this, and uh, I'm from Chicago, so I figured it'd be kind of fun to do an asteroid or something hitting Chicago. So let's say you want to make a fun movie or something, you can go ahead and do that. Um, it, the, the thing is I wanted to show people is how easy this is. So what you want to do is I have basically just four files over here, and I downloaded them all for free. And I'm going to go ahead and give one person credit uh, in a second, but basically I'll show you where I got these files from. And just keep in mind that this is something that you can do literally in five five or ten minutes and make effects like this. I mean, they're not as good as obviously Hollywood, but they're not going to be that far off either. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Um, so I basically have a green screen file, which you can get on YouTube. Um, I have another uh, HD movie, which I just grabbed off of a clip, and I'll show you where I got that from. And I have a couple sound files, which I got from YouTube. And that's really it. So let's go ahead and get started with this, and I'll show you kind of how I did this. So the very first thing, let me just show you where I get these files from. So the very first thing I did is I grabbed a couple different files. Um, one of them I use is called Storyblocks. Let me go ahead and put me back on the screen here. So Storyblocks basically is a great site. It's it's very cheap and you get ba you know unlimited downloads of, of HD videos. So all I did was type in Chicago and I went down and I tried to find something that would kind of fit that scene. And it was right here and I downloaded it right, you know, obviously here it is. But basically I wanted to find something that would really fit that scene as far as just the look and feel of it. And when I say the scene, I mean the asteroid. So I had that asteroid on a green screen and I'll show you where I got that from, but it needed to actually look right, you know, when I actually when I put it onto a, a you know, a, any film clip. I mean, if I use a film clip like this over here, it might look too big or might might look too small. So I picked one that looked fairly decent for the actual asteroid that I'm going to be using. Um, you can see there's a ton in here. So that's where I got that. Now, if I go over here, this is where I got the asteroid from um, on YouTube, actually. And you can get this also from from here. You can type in green screen. Let me just show you green just type in green screen and something else. And there's a ton of different ones that are free in here that you can use. That's one way to do it. But I did, couldn't find the one I wanted, the asteroid. So I went to YouTube. And on YouTube, this one's by, uh, you can see his name. It's by Arist Aristio Ramirez. <laughs> you can see his name right here. It says free to use. Just give me some credit. I'm giving him some credit right now. So I just downloaded this and I used the tool to download this. There's some tools online where you can download YouTube videos. And it came out as a green screen. It had his name over here still, which I removed. I'm giving him credit here. And uh, we'll show you how you do this. But I grabbed this. You know, if you type in here uh, green screen free and type in whatever you want you'll see that there's going to be a ton of different green screen stuff in here you can use like explosions and everything else you just want to make sure that it's free and uh, and then once you make sure it's free let's go ahead and move this over once you make sure it's free and you have them you have them you know just save them and then I'm going to show you how to actually build out the the movie itself the last thing to do is you want to grab some sounds I grab these from YouTube you can grab them from the sound files that are free again I went to sound effects in YouTube so I grabbed them right here and I just picked one that sounded like an explosion and then one that sounded like a whistling noise as it was moving through the air and I have my four files all right, so let's get started. I'm not going to show you how to do the exact, it's not going to be the exact same video I showed you earlier because I'm going to recreate it. So it's going to be a little bit different than the original one I showed you, but you get the idea. So here are my files over here. The first thing you want to do is you want to open, and I'm going to go away up here, but don't worry about that. I'll still be talking. You're going to want to open up uh, iMovie, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and click New, New Movie. So that's first. And then I want to do is I want to take these four files over here, and I'm going to take all of them and let me get that one and I'm going to drag them into my folder over here so that we have them as clips in the my movie folder so we have all four clips up here now first thing I want to do though is I want to go ahead and drag my main clip actually I'm going to make sure they're not connected I'm going to drag my main clip here and you can see this if I go ahead and play it it's just the clip that I got from that video blocks and uh, you can kind of hear it playing here it's got the audio and things like that associated with it so you know, you get the idea. Um, and that's basically what that is. So that's the first thing you want to do. 
Second thing you do is you want to go ahead and grab this one. Now this is the one that actually will play and make the meteorite come down and smash into the ground. So you want to go ahead and drag this and you want to drag this somewhere in here, you know, where you want it to hit. So obviously, let's go ahead and play this right now. I dragged it in there. You can see that that's coming down. Now, the problem is, is this is going to be over this, so you can't see the background, but there is a green screen here. So a couple things you want to do is you want to go ahead and select this, the green screen on top up here. Up here, there's going to be this icon up here. It's the very first one. It's called Video Overlay Settings. You want to go ahead and click that. And then once you click that, you're going to get some other features here. You want to go ahead and to this over here where it says Cutaway. And you want to go to blue, or sorry, green, blue screen. Click that. And what that's basically going to do is it's going to take away the whole green part. See that? And all, <laughs> within two seconds, if I go back over here and play the video, you can see that it's working already. You know, everything I kind of planned out, I mean, it almost hits the road exactly where I need it to, so I don't have to really change much there. Um, the problem that I had with it originally was, number one, it's got the person's name over here. You can see it in the video. And also, I don't like the meteorite going right over the sign because you can't see it as well. So I'm going to show you how to change that and get rid of the name. So basically, here we go. Let's go ahead and take a look at that again. Here it comes and smashes into the ground. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. If you can see this over here, I'm going to click on the green screen again. And you want to go back up. And this time, what you want to do is, let me see here. You want to go to this little icon here, which is cropping. You can go ahead and crop that. And then once you crop, you want to do crop to fill right here. Now what you can do is you can take this and you can, let me go ahead and I can make this a little bit smaller like this to cut this off. See that? Cut it off a little bit. And then what it'll do basically, let me go ahead and cut his name off. Let me just adjust that slightly. So now his name's not in there. And I'm going to go ahead and click done. So now it actually moved it over a little bit because I repositioned it. Plus, it took his name off of there. So if you go back to the original over here, let's just take a quick peek. And I'm going to go ahead and play that. And you can see how easy that is. So there's other ways to do this, but that was the simplest way for me to do it, is I just kind of cropped it and moved it over. And uh, now you can see it kind of looks like it's hitting the car or the truck or whatever there. So the one thing that's missing still is the sound. So what you want to do is I have these two sound files. Let's go ahead and this one, let's go ahead and move them down here into the sound areas. So let me go ahead and move this one down here. So you, what you want to do is you want to put the sound below the actual video clip. And let's go ahead and listen. And that's it. <laughs> so basically what I did is these clips I actually downloaded right from YouTube and they work perfectly. You can move them around a little bit. Let me go ahead and play it one more time and maybe I'll move them around to see if they sound a little bit better. No, I mean, they're pretty much right on. And those are clips I just grabbed. I didn't have to do anything. But you can obviously slide these around and make them longer or shorter to make the sound good. So at the end of the day, you know, it's four steps, maybe five steps. You put in the green screen video, you put the normal video in, and two sound clips. And uh, let's go ahead and just preview this last time, one last time. Again, this is going to be a little bit different than the original I did. All right, so just to wrap this video up, I just wanted to say you can get all this stuff free and you can kind of splice them together. And once you splice them together, everything comes out pretty <laughs> looking pretty good. If you have cut scenes and things and some movies you want to make or just for fun, fun videos for YouTube. So I kind of showed you all that stuff. And I just wanted to go back really quickly. I have no affiliation with, with uh, this first one, which is, it says story blocks, but you want to go to video blocks because it does have pictures and stuff. And this, I think it's like, I don't know what it is, like 150 bucks for the whole year with unlimited downloads or something. Don't quote me because it changes all the time. But this has literally thousands of you know, thousands of different green screen effects, and you can do reverse green screens where you have yourself on a phone, or you have yourself inside of a curtain, or you can put the people over like I did. Uh, you know, there's millions and millions of different examples on here. Not only that, but it does have all those scenes. Like if you type in cities, you know, um, you have thousands of cities you can you can use for these effects. It's kind of the underlying effect, and then put the green screen on top of it. So this is a great site. It's you know video blocks. I have no affiliation with it at least right now. Hopefully one of these days I will. And then on YouTube the same thing. If you go into YouTube, there's all these ones. If you type in green screen, you know as I go down, this one's kind of a cool one. I'll show you. You have to look to make sure it says you know free download. Some of these people are kind of weird, so you just want to make sure you give them credit like I did. So once you download it. 
you can actually forward up to the spot where the green screen is and look at this. This is kind of cool. It's got the sound going. And you can throw this into a video. Imagine how cool this would look if you actually had added, had added this to a video. So there you go. I mean, let's look at this one though really quickly. It does say free stock. I mean, you may, you know, sometimes I would want to maybe email the person and actually see if it is free um, before you use it just to be safer than sorry. But that's really all there is to this. All right, and thanks again for watching. As everyone knows, if you can subscribe to my channel, it's going to really help me out. I make a lot of videos on Macs, PCs, all different types of hardware. Obviously, with the what's going on with the pandemic and stuff, I'm filming these kind of weirder videos right now just to help people with different various things, just looking for creative ways to make videos. But go ahead and click the like button if you like what you see, and we'll talk soon. Thanks a bunch for supporting the channel.